I make my living as a videographer and I love it so much. But that work is all about equipment. So it can take days sometimes to recover just from carrying stuff around at shoots. Even the portable stuff. I hate that feeling of having nothing left to give. It's very easy to look at something and think, well, yeah, I could operate that, no problem. But uh, I think probably my, uh, my years of experience helped me to uh, understand what the limitations are. So when I make something, uh, they could operate it. First, I had to be able to pull the cart. My wrist doesn't work on the sideways handles, so Dave made a new kind of handle for me to hold. This one sticks forward. It has a curvature for my arms, which allow my specific body to use it safely. Yeah, the, I've never seen that before. We made up a, a plastic prototype to start with, to try it out. And then once we got the shape you wanted, I had the aluminum one made up. Dave then added two sets of wheels. One large set of wheels for getting over terrain, and the second set at the front, purely for maneuvering. You wanted something so you could spin the thing around in tight quarters. It was good because I had the same cart at home, and I could fool around with a cart at home and, and just see what I could do to, to solve this problem. But then, because I'm not able to bend down, as soon as I leave the studio, I have issues accessing my equipment. I need it raised up. Yeah, I've looked at things to flip out to hold stuff up, but nothing was really practical to, you know, to, to use on this. So I had to come up with something completely, completely new. A compact table stand in the back of the cart. So it folds out now, and the cart can become a table, easy to access. Not all the time you come up with something right away, and it's a winner. And uh, the ones you win always make up for the ones you lose. David Graham, thank you.